Good afternoon, my name is Julian King. Once again, uh, I'm here in Wonder Park, my favourite park in Croydon. And behind me, as you can see, we've got a skate park. And here we have, uh, would you like to introduce yourself? My name's Leo Minnit, the skate park Flair Wizard. That's me, that's me, that's me. <laughs> so, so basically, Leo, he's, he goes by the name that Snake Park Flair Wizard. Yeah. And you're, uh, yeah, yeah, you're a BMXer, aren't you? Yeah, I'm a BMXer, man. I've been, been riding for three months. Yeah. Just casual, man, just chilling, bro. Yeah, so, 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 for, so for three months. So, what would you say your, your scale is, your, your skill level is at the moment since you've started? I would say, like, I'm, I'm still a beginner, but, like, Maybe give it a year, two years, and I should be pro, semi-pro. You know what I mean? Like, so in the future, like not now, but in the future, like, I, like I said, I, I ride, I ride for me, man. I, just, I don't ride to become professional. I don't ride to become semi-pro. I just ride to, to develop and grow. Yeah. And I love growth. Yeah, yeah, yeah I love yeah. growth. Yeah, basically, I mean, I've seen you in action myself. I've uh, seen you doing some skills and some flips and stuff like this. I mean, how difficult are these to, to perform and how difficult, uh, how long will it, does it take the average person to master these skills? If you've got a foam pit, yeah, to do to do the my flare, the flare that I, I love doing, it'll take you a day, maybe a day to learn if you've got a foam pit around you. A resi, maybe take you maybe a, a same a day if you're willing and committed. Concrete, it'll take you two days because the first day you'll be scared, maybe fall out quite a bit, give up half, after half an hour because you're too scared. And then the next day you just go for it because you just think, you know what, let's do this. You know? And it's, yeah. it's motivation, you know what I mean? And you get that willpower inside of you and it just makes you go. And once you get all that adrenaline, like yeah. after some tricks I do, my legs are shaking. Like yeah, yeah. I'm shaking like I've just been on a roller coaster for five minutes. It's mad, but it's, it's fun. It's, that's what I love about it. Like, it's, it's a sick. sick. Yeah, I can imagine that. So. Being a Croydon resident, I mean, I've been a Croydon resident for, for many years and you're a Croydon re resident yourself. I mean, the skate park, I mean, you, you enjoy this place over here. I mean, have you got any views on uh, how it could be approved or what could be done here in terms of events or something like this? Uh, my views on the park are, it's, it's, it's a good park, it's a good park, I'm not f knocking it, but, no, I am knocking it. it. It's really and truly, yeah, they've got stones in the middle that shouldn't be there. On top of that, yeah, there's just so much space and emptiness that they could have filled up, but they haven't. They've just left it. And as I was saying before, yeah, it's, if you think of a rundown area and you give it a rundown skate, like if you say people say that Croydon's rundown, and then you give it a rundown skate, but it just adds on to the, the effect of the rundown. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying now? So, say if you if you, if they made the skate park a lot bigger and a lot better, more attraction will come, and then it's. It's not so much of a rundown area, it's more, it then becomes more of a sociable, friendly society, like, you know what I mean? Like, everywhere, like... So, so, so ba basically, you're saying that they're match it, matching the effort to the stigma surrounding Croydon, then, in, in, in a nutshell? 100%, 100%, that's, that's pretty much it.